Now, when you're looking at birds of five and six, hmm, you have seabirds who are monogamous for a lifetime. They love their partners. They are soulmates. They would give just anything to be with the partner. Then you have parrots in the level five, which are also monogamous for a lifetime. The birds, yeah. So birds need their space, but they are emotionally very, very, very connected to their partners. Birds need physical space, yeah. And her thing is, if she has made a decision, come what may, whether her husband wants it, husband is in the hospital, or oh, she says it here itself today, irrespective of my husband in the hospital, I'm here. You know what a bird would have done? Okay, now that is level five birds. I'm sorry, I cut my went on another path level six birds are the raptors or the lanthanides yeah now the raptors are also monogamous mostly for a lifetime or at least for a season but mostly for a lifetime so level six raptors also will just do anything for the partner you know that emotional connect with the partner is extremely important for the level five birds as well as for the level six birds. Yeah, they have an issue with space. Don't touch me when I don't want you to. Yeah, but that emotional connect is almost like having a soulmate. Here is someone who's very, very, you're not clear with, okay, my husband is in the hospital and it was more practical. It's only malaria. He can handle it. I need to be here because I have not, I'm not going to change my plan. I don't have enough time to reschedule it. This is going against bird. Yeah? So she is somebody, and this also, this amount of wanting to do what they want. Now, this is another feature, just remember, of the cats. The cats are extremely, extremely needing their space. And very often, cats can look like birds. In fact, I think even in some of the seminars this time, when yeah, we were doing we birds, we did a lot of comparison between cats and birds because a lot of the bird cases actually look like cats. Yeah? OK. Um, and so whatever, you know, whether it's her factory, whether it's her office, yeah? She needs her space. Needing their space is cat. In the mammals, it's only in the cats. And it's in level three, like felinum. It's in level five, the wild small cats. And it's in level six, six the big, big cats. And it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Or it just gets more stronger and stronger and stronger. This desire, this need. Okay. Important thing that you need to know is cats also or rather within the mammal kingdom, a mammal phylum, sorry, the mammal class, class mammalia, cats are extremely focused. Yeah, they're extremely calculative, focused, and get to their target. Yeah, and you cannot disturb them. Yeah, and they need their space in that sense. So much is the desire for space. And there is one specific animal which has so much a desire for space within the cats. Okay. You know, with the birds, with the raptors, because they don't really like physical intimacy too much. Okay. They love a lot of emotional intimacy. Yeah. Like they're very close to their children and they're over caring and they kind of feel suffocated because of this excess responsibility on them where they're overdoing they're extremely emotionally connected to their partners yeah in this case i don't see any of this trickling you know her thing is not so much i'm emotionally connected her thing is more I give me my space when I don't want you close. You cannot come to me, whether you're my daughter, you're my husband, you're my son. So her, her, uh, what do you say? This intimacy, which is so needed for a bird case, emotional, emotional intimacy, not physical. Okay. Is completely lacking.
yeah she never talks till the end in the case about any emotional intimacy even it's like she's on her own you know and of course humanly in certain situations you need to be with people you need a physical proximity at some point of time with certain people which is fine but she is not going to tolerate anything more than that yeah this kind of not wanting emotional intimacy or physical intimacy is very characteristic cat behavior because when you look at cats in nature yeah the male and the female yeah do not have a bond at all okay uh, the mother has a bond with the kittens or the cubs when you're looking at the big cats but once the cubs are independent it's completely you know they can almost even be rivals with their own mother sometimes you know so this need for it's not just physical intimacy the physical intimacy they don't like too much is shared both by birds and by cats but this emotional also like you know they've made this clear that if i don't want to i don't want to at this time this kind of emotional intimacy no, no emotional space is only cat birds on the other hand will want emotional intimacy